Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Saturday, the 23rd of May, 2020. Our topic today on the seeds of destiny is the profit of living responsibly. The Bible tells us, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10. Thought for the day. To live well is to give life everything you have and everything you've got. Life on the earth is terminal, not eternal. Time hurries you into the future without your consent or your permission. Tomorrow will come whether you are ready for it or not. The best time to use what you have is while you are alive. Any knowledge or wisdom you have is to be deployed while you are alive. To live well is to give life everything you have. Whatever you are doing per time, give it everything that you have got. To live excitedly, you must live responsibly in order to do what God wants you to do with your life, within the space of time that you have. You must live impactfully. Now, what is the profit of living responsibly? From our experience of Joseph in Egypt, we can see the following points. Number one, responsibility brings opportunity. Responsibility will do for you what jobs and other things cannot do. Those who work only for salary never gain opportunities in life. Number two, responsibility brings authority. A responsible person will attain authority in life. If God sees that you are qualified for promotion, nothing can stop you. Productivity counts far more than longevity. Number three, responsibility unveils possibilities. What does not appear possible becomes impossible. Why? Because someone is responsible. Responsibility is the way of results. Responsibility is the assignment of a man, but the result is the assignment of God. And number five, responsibility is the way of royalty. Responsibility confers the responsible royalty and dominion. And so, beloved, make up your mind to be responsible. Embrace the lifestyle of diligence and you shall fulfill your days on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember this, that to live well, is to give life everything that you have got. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, never evade responsibilities. Number two, carry out your responsibilities faithfully in order to reap the benefits. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I ask for the grace to carry out my assignments and responsibilities faithfully in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I'd like to pray for somebody who wants to be born again. You have lived quite an irresponsible life, maybe alcoholism, womanizing, um, uh, cheating, gambling, or some of those kind of things. And you want to say, I want to be responsible. And it only takes God to be able to live a responsible life. You'd like me to pray with you. Say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. The Lord bless you. You go ahead and have a very wonderful week. And... Um, See you at the Sunday service and God bless you in Jesus' name.
is a place of revival. It is a place of His presence. It is a place.